Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're reviewing a ton of new Alphalete stuff for their upcoming June 5th launch. I believe it's June 5th at 10 a.m. CST. That's kind of their normal launch time, but I definitely know it's June 5th and we finally get to review something pre-launch. So excited because I know you guys always ask me if I'm gonna review Alphalete stuff pre-launch, but this is my first time actually getting stuff before the launch for you guys, so I'm super pumped. There's a ton of new Amplify, which I know is like a crowd favorite. I swear I have never seen people go so crazy for leggings. I see some of you guys in my Facebook group, you're like, oh, I have nine pairs of the Amplifies. I'm like, I didn't even know there were nine colors out. Crazy. So everyone loves those. I also got a couple of tops as well as some new lifestyle pieces, including bodysuits and dresses. So got a lot to review, so don't wanna keep talking, but I just wanted to say, as I was doing like an IG Live little unboxing the other day, someone asked, is this going to be a sponsored review? I just wanna make it clear, I've literally never done a sponsored review on my channel. A sponsored review would be me being paid to make a review, never done that. With some brands, I do have codes and links that if you happen to use those when you're buying something, I do get a little commission. That's also not even sponsored because that's not like I'm being paid to make a review is just like after the fact, but I don't even have a code with Alphalete. So this should go without saying, but this is not sponsored, but I'm just super excited that I get to review this for you guys pre-launch to give you all that you need to know because these things do tend to sell out. So sometimes doing a review after the launch, it's like a little pointless. So without further ado, let's get into it. So of course we have to start with the Amplifies. So they're launching a ton of new Amplify colors, but I'm going to insert a little photo here of what Alphalete posted on their Instagram. So this seems to be like all the colors that the Amplify is coming in and I have have about like four or five colors of the Amplify. So, so hopefully that'll kind of give you a picture. And of course I'm gonna squat test everything because sometimes Alphalete seamless leggings can be a little on the sheer side. So quick little overview of the Amplifies. They are a seamless legging. They have no front seam and they have this little scrunch in the back. This is not like your Gymshark animal seamless scrunch that just sits on top of your glutes and like literally does nothing. Like this goes in there and really separates the glutes and gives you an automatic high on the booty scale. So this is what the scrunch looks like. It's just a collection of seams, but when it's on you, it kind of like hides between the cheeks a little bit. So it's actually not a super noticeable scrunch. I think it's one of the best, most wearable scrunches out there because it's not like a ton of fabric gathering that I feel like sometimes just makes it a little obvious. So I think it's a great scrunch. It can feel a little bit wedgy-like at times. So if you're really not into that feeling, I would probably go with something like the Revival leggings instead of the Amplifies. But it's also super stretchy material so it's actually not the tightest of the scrunches anyway high compression seamless waistband the waistband also has three tiers of compression that gets like more compressive at the top so you can kind of see the difference in the tiers and it just kind of snatches your waist in i would kind of classify this as like a delicate seamless material so like when i wear like my gloves on like pole day i always wear weightlifting gloves because i don't like to get calluses anyways when i wear those they do have velcro so i'm very careful to not touch those anywhere near these because these do snag. So if you are someone who's looking for like a super high performance legging, I wouldn't necessarily say these are the ones. I can wear one of the fabric glute bands on these, no problem. But in terms of like snagging, I have had an Alphalete seamless material snag before. So just want to put that out there. So yeah, we have a bunch of colors. Honestly, most of them scream kind of like fall vibes to me. Like we have this like mocha brown and then some like warm purpley toned like darker colors. And then I think they have more light colors, but then they have this bright Arctic blue as well. So kind of a mix of colors of like summery and more dark fall. If you're going for squat proofness, I would go for a dark color. So there's Amplify shorts and these I actually just measured were a five inch inseam. I kind of thought they were four inch. If I knew they were five inch, I probably would have tried them before because I actually like five inch shorts and the biker shorts are about a nine inch inseam. All right, so here are the Amplify shorts. This is the color Twilight and it's kind of like a deep, almost like a jewel tone purple, but definitely if you're not in a very well lit area, it can almost look black because it is pretty dark. All of their waistbands hit me a little above my belly button, kind of at the smallest point of my waist. And the waistbands do have that like three tiered kind of ribbing that like holds you in tightest at the top. So I really love the Amplify waistbands because they're very compressive. The rest of the Amplifies definitely isn't as compressive, but these shorts are feeling a little more compressive because the band at the bottom is a little snug. I'm definitely getting a little bit of like cutting in down here. So I think if you're looking for the most like 
thick thighed friendly shorts. I would go with the biker shorts because those I don't feel like any constriction in my thighs. These I'm definitely getting just a little bit. There's also just a little bit of shading. I don't know if you can see it on the shorts. So all the amplifies have an embroidered in logo. So it's never gonna peel off or anything. So definitely a high on the booty scale. I'll try to wear these for a workout before I post this video. And all the dark colors, crotch gathering isn't gonna be a huge issue because you can't see it very much. But I think I like the smalls in all amplifies just because whenever I size up to a medium, the like crotch gathering situation just becomes a little more prominent. So I personally prefer my normal size. And I also think that I get a good enough scrunch action in the small that I don't need to size up. But definitely if you're in between on these shorts, I would definitely get the bigger size. So just got back from the gym and I actually liked wearing the shorts because I don't know, it's just so hot right now that they just feel so like freeing. Um, I did get a little rolling up mainly in exercises where I was like sitting. So so like hip thrusts and uh, in leg press, everything else is basically fine. And it's almost not even, maybe it's like a little bit of rolling, but it's just kind of like the very end. Um, so yeah, not roll proof, but they were very flattering and, and super stretchy and I'll definitely wear them again, which is saying a lot for short shorts for me. All right, so here are the copper bike shorts in a medium. So I definitely prefer smalls and all of the amplifies. And I'll go over just a couple things about why I don't love the size up for me. So the medium actually is still really well fitting in the waist. Um, I don't feel like I have any extra space, maybe just like a little less compressive. So definitely the waistbands are never gonna like gape on you, even if you size up. The length is good. The thighs don't cut in, but the smalls don't cut in either. That's something I love about athlete biker shorts, not just the Amplify ones, but their other seamless biker shorts as well. They're just really forgiving on the thighs down here. So you're never gonna have like a sausage thigh situation. I also feel like on this color, you can kind of see the slight shading detail a little bit better than the um, darker colors. So you can see that here, it kind of curves around into the back. And then the extra material in this region might not be obvious at all times, but definitely when I like put my legs together, it just accentuates the area a little too much. And it just definitely feels like there's extra material. So that's really the only area of excess, but it's enough for me that I just prefer the small. The medium also still dips down in the back as they all do on me. And I almost feel like the scrunch is more noticeable in the medium because I feel like it's not like pulled as tight in for some reason. I feel like you can see some of the little like wrinkly bits on the medium. So here it is straight on. You can kind of see the scrunch, but not totally. So yeah, that's the medium. Let's try it on the small. All right, so here are the black cherry bikers in a size small. This is definitely my favorite of the darker colors that we're trying today. And just a comparison with the twilight shorts, the black cherry has more of a red undertone. So think if you took like a deep cherry red and just like turned down the brightness, that's exactly what the black cherry is. And next to the copper, you can see it's also much less orange. The copper definitely has a more like burnt orange undertone. All right, so I definitely prefer the small in these. We already talked about the mediums, just getting a little more compression in the waist in the small. So honestly, high compression waistband, but the legs are more of like a light to medium compression. It's pretty thin, stretchy and lightweight. So these are also gonna be a great short for summer just because they are nice and lightweight. Even though they're long, they aren't very heavy. In the small, I'm getting a lot less fabric gathering here. You definitely get a little single camel action just because these are seamless and they just kind of hug everything. They're definitely a very hugging legging. That's part of the reason why they're so flattering on the glutes, but that leads to a little single camel action. So nowhere near as bad as like the navigation leggings, but another thing I noticed about these because I recently wore a pair of leggings that the crotch gusset was very prominent on the front. The crotch gusset on these is nowhere to be seen on the front. If anything, it's like, <laughs> more noticeable in the back, but I guess that's a personal preference. So it's not gonna show in the front, but it might show in the back. Always to make my leggings more flattering, I pull a little more fabric around this area that also gives the scrunch a little more room to stretch. So it's not gonna be quite as restrictive. So always remember to pull your fabric. Here's the scrunch straight on. I think it's like a little less noticeable than the medium and it just like sits on me a little bit better. In case we haven't already said high on the booty scale, these are definitely very high on the booty scale. There's a little marl in the fabrics, so might get some cellulite coverage. Also seamless materials can just be like a little, almost like 
textured, so you might get a little coverage, especially in the darker colors, maybe not in some of the lighter colors. We'll do a sit test, because why not? I'm really not getting any rolling. I feel like this waistband is it's here to stay. Okay, so this is not gonna be the most forgiving color. I definitely feel like I can see all little details. I turned off the ring light, so it wasn't gonna like blind anyone, but this is the Arctic blue. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I didn't know that the little detailing of the amplify down the leg, I don't really know what this detailing is called, actually ends like before the knee, but I was never able to see that before, but I can on this very light, light blue. So it's a beautiful color, like I love, a light blue like this but totally need nude underwear for sure and as i was getting it on like okay i can literally see my nail color okay that this is a thinner part no yeah that's that's my hand through it so if you are looking for squat proofness don't get the light colors because it's not going to be it's not going to be very reliable in that aspect the fit's the same as the bikers basically compressive waistband light to medium compression throughout i also find the amplify leggings to be very tall girl friendly because they have so much like vertical stretch that i can literally stretch them down to my ankles and cover even though i don't think the inseam is like a full 28 inches so definitely tall girl friendly decently thick stitching on the side um, and not a ton of details other than this and then we have the scrunch in the back and i think you can just tell the waistband is just more opaque than the rest of these so here's the scrunch face on i feel like you can probably see it pretty well in this color and i will say the more fabric you pull back to here the less constricting the scrunch feels like in terms of scrunch leggings, it's probably the least wedgy like scrunch because the leggings themselves are just like so stretchy. But if you don't like feeling any wedginess, even like a little bit, I would definitely go for like the revivals instead of the amplifies. This color is not gonna be cellulite proof. Um, in general, I find this seamless material to be pretty sweat friendly. But yeah, let's move on to what everyone's waiting for, the squat test. All right, so this is the underwear we're using for the double squat test. I will say the scrunch helps like a little bit with squat proofness in that you can't see like the shadow of the crease, if you know what I'm saying. So, but with nude underwear, it might be acceptable. I'll put both my ratings on the screen. Editing Kath here. So I did decide to put all of the squat tests together in one section so that we could like compare them better. And I think just in general, the amplifies are just gonna be a little more squat proof than like a full seamless back, like their old seamless biker shorts, because the scrunch kind of obscures, you know, the crease and everything. And if you're new here, I always squat test everything in like natural plus ring lighting face on, like none of these like sideways squat tests. Like people try to do that to hide the squat proofness. It's just, that's not something I do. I I even like turned up the brightness for these in my editing and I like still can like barely see any sheerness in the cheek area. So I just wanted to share that. On to the squat test. They're also bringing back the OG Revival leggings. These were kind of like one of my original first favorite leggings from Athlete. I definitely like these better than the R6 personally because they're super stretchy, a little thinner than the R6. I have reviewed these before on my channel. So in the try on, we're just gonna do some comparisons between the Revivals and the Amplifies if you're kind of like deciding between the two. And this is Tuxedo Blue. So these are definitely coming in some darker tones as well. You've been requested as a guest. Yes, you're so cute, Pins. Oh my gosh, we got two and one. There you go, guys, your two guest stars of the day. I know whenever I post a video without them, you get mad and rightfully so. I would also be mad if I didn't get to see this cute face every day. So here are the OG Revival leggings. I've reviewed these at least once, maybe twice on my channel before. So I'm still deciding if these are my number one or if the amplifies have taken their place. As I've worn the amplifies more, you know, I see myself in videos like 
working out at the gym and it's just like it's hard to beat the booty scale on the amplifies it's hard but there's definitely some pros and cons of each of them so just gonna go through some differences they go to basically the same spot on my waist a little above my belly button at the smallest part of my waist the revivals definitely have a compressive waistband like i'd still say the waistband is a high compression but it doesn't have the different like levels of compression so not sure it makes a huge difference to be quite honest the waistband on these is like sewn onto the leggings instead of being kind of more seamless transition the waistband also doesn't dip down in the back of the revivals so if you were bothered by that little dip down of the amplifies the revivals don't do that revivals also have a front seam but i find it to be one of like the least invasive front seams it really doesn't cause any camel you're also getting less gathering and less single camel in these than the amplifies so i find them to be like very flattering in the front the material i think is just the same seamless material kind of classic so these don't have any sort of scrunch in the back but you can kind of like you know pull this seam up a little bit and i still find them to be flattering on the glutes they're just not as flattering as the amplifies but i find these to be a little more cellulite friendly because you have this paneling detailing right around your thighs so definitely hides cellulite these are also very tall girl friendly as the amplifies are so i'm glad to see they're still making the og revivals along with the amplifies because again i still can't decide leave a comment down below which either looked better on me like which do you think is more flattering or which one do you personally like better because i'm still so torn because i don't know these are pretty cute sizing for the og revivals true to size size up if in between um if you're sizing up just in general you are going to get a little extra fabric around here so just keep that in mind Next, I have four more Ultrasoft tops. I love the Alphalete Ultrasoft tops. They're so lightweight and super soft, but the inside is not brushed. It's just the outside. So the inside can feel almost a little bit sleek, but the outside is just like super buttery, super lightweight. They can be a little sheer in lighter colors. So just be wary of that. But this yellow is literally so beautiful. I just feel like a little, little canary in this obsessed so here is the inside of the ultra soft again not brushed you don't see any fuzziness and then the outside is very slightly brushed it's not like super fuzzy though not as fuzzy as like the alpha lux let's go into the details about these shirts so this is the ultra soft pinnacle tee in black it's a pretty cropped tee i'm wearing a small um pretty much true to size for all of their tops they're also really stretchy so if you're in between you probably could size down but if you want a little more space and don't want it like skin tight maybe size up i think it's pretty flexible because just top but yeah pretty cropped i'm wearing a sports bra under this and when i lift my arms it doesn't show it has this little cutout detail i'm sure this has a name um but i don't know what it's called um i'm wearing a sports bra that does crisscross the straps so um it is showing so i'd either have to wear the same color sports bra or one that just goes with the straps like straight up and down i also feel like this one could definitely be worn as like a lifestyle piece like with like some jean shorts or something it would be pretty cropped but the benefit of it is it's very soft and lightweight and also pretty sweat friendly we have a little alphalete logo back here all right here's the ultra soft square neck tank in white i would definitely need to find a sports bra that better hid under this because it is kind of um a unique shape that would be hard to hide a sports bra so i wouldn't say it's like total square neck it's kind of like a rounded square it has like a little ruched detail so so um, maybe this could be worn again as a lifestyle piece. I also wasn't really sure which one was the front or the back, but the back is um, more of like a scooped neck and it's pretty cropped again. They stay pretty well and don't raise when I lift my arms up. And yeah, I hope you can distinguish what is the shirt and what is the sports bra. But definitely with the white colored ultra soft tanks, um, you're definitely gonna wanna wear either a nude or white underneath it or else the color will show through. If you're wearing it to the gym, I don't really care if my sports bra color shows through, but if you're wearing it like for lifestyle, definitely wanna choose a white or nude. It's not like the most opaque. All right, here is the ultra soft apex long sleeve in the color cherry so i'm wearing it with the black cherry can't decide can't decide if they go together i feel like this is like a little more pink but i guess cherry could also be pink so i've actually already reviewed this one on my channel in the blue color the pink is definitely a little more opaque you can't see the colors beneath it as much but super thin super lightweight and it kind of comes to a point right at like the center of your rib cage here which can be 
pretty cropped. Like if I raise my arms enough, my sports bra kind of peeks out, which at the gym, that's not something that would bother me, but it definitely is very cropped in the center. The rest of it is actually fine and you're not gonna show your sports bra anywhere else, but thought I would mention that. But yeah, there's just this double layered little thing at the bottom and there is a little seam here to kind of help keep it down, um, but it's, nothing is tight enough to cut in. And yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about this one. As with all of the Ultrasofts, true to size, but you probably could size down if in between. Okay, I think I'm obsessed with this yellow. Um, so this is the Ultrasoft Thrive Tank in the color Lemonade and literally matches my nails right now. Just found the perfect like pastel yellow nail color and now I have the perfect pastel yellow tank top. I need like a sports bra in this color because I just feel like yellow is just goes with like all of the bright colors. Like I know you may not think yellow and blue, but I think this is cute. So this is also one of my favorite ultra soft tanks that they have. I have it in white as well. And it's just nice because it has a little more coverage than some of the others lengthwise. Like it could definitely go to the top of your legging waistband. Little silicone logo here, super soft obviously. And it's a high neck, but it has a super open back, like a little racer back situation. So it doesn't have a lot of coverage. And on days where I don't feel like just wearing a sports bra to the gym, or if I'm like going on a walk or something and I just want like a little lightweight tank to throw over. I love the length and the style of this one and it doesn't add like a lot of heat because it's lightweight and it doesn't cover a lot in my back. So I love this yellow and when the stuff launches, I'm going to be searching the website for what else comes in this yellow because I need more. Next, we have some lifestyle pieces. I'm not super familiar if this is a new collection from Alphalete or if they've already done this before, but we have the Monarch collection. As said on the tag here, Monarch collection. They also have little um, metal logos for these, but I have two pieces from this collection. I have bodysuits and a dress. So it's definitely more lifestyle and it's all made out of this ribbed material, which at first when I was trying it on, I was like, okay, it's just like a ribbed material. But as I was taking it off, I was like, the inside of this is like really soft in the inside of the ribbed is like kind of brushed. And honestly, I was pretty impressed because it's actually really soft. So here's the outside, just kind of a regular ribbed material. And then here's the inside. And maybe I can kind of show like the difference between the outside and the inside. There's definitely like a layer of brushed fuzziness on the inside, which I really like. So I have two of the cutout body suits and these are honestly very cut out. Like I feel like if you looked at someone wearing this, you'd be like, is that like, a two piece or a one piece. But before we do the try on, I wanted to make a few points. It's a pretty high cut leg line and it is like a thong in the back. So it's not gonna give you any lines when you wear like any pants over it, which is nice. But sometimes this can be like a little bit thick in the back for me. Honestly, for me, the thinner the thong, the better because you don't feel it if it's thin. They do have two little snap closures at the bottom, but this is the type of bodysuit that you can just like slide on like a leotard, which is my preferred way of getting them on. And the bodysuit also has a built-in, I wouldn't necessarily say a bra, it is like a separate layer here as you can see, but they do have cup pads and a little seam in the middle to make sure the cup pads don't, you know, go everywhere and the cup pads insert up here. So you don't actually have to wear a bra with this or anything. So this is the cutout bodysuit in Azul and it is like very high cut. Um, I'm just, I just threw on some shorts over it because um, it is a thong in the back. Wasn't gonna do that today. Pretty high cut leg and I was not expecting the cutout to be like asymmetric. I thought it was gonna be like kind of like a little central cutout. So kind of unique. I feel like this would be really cute as a one piece swimsuit, but I'm not sure I'd wear it as a bodysuit. Just like, I guess it depends on the occasion. I don't feel like I'd do a lot where I'd wear this. Also, it is like a very soft kind of like, I don't know, this material is just really nice and cozy and soft and it's ribbed and I just don't feel like it's like, going out material. Like, so if this was more of like a loungy bodysuit, I wouldn't expect like the big cutout. But like from the side, it looks like you could be wearing like a two piece situation, but it's actually just like a one piece. It's fully covered in the back and you don't have to worry about wearing a bra because it has built in cut pads, which is actually really nice. I'd like to see more bodysuits do that because so many of them don't really allow for like wearing bras and I don't like going braless, so. I am definitely getting a little bit of side boob. I guess it kind of depends how you adjust it. I could probably bring myself in a little more and it's not like the most supportive thing in the world, but I feel like I could still get away with not wearing a bra with this. This one, like the dress also has a little metal detailing here and I feel like this would look a lot more normal if I wasn't wearing Latin shorts. For the next color one, I'm gonna put on some jean shorts so it looks like a little more normal.
So this is the antler color, kind of like a taupey nude, and I definitely feel like it looks more normal with the shorts. It just really gives me like swimsuit vibes, but the material is definitely not going to be good for swimming. Yeah, I feel like it looks more normal with the jean shorts, you can kind of see, but still not exactly sure when I'd wear this. The other thing in the Monarch collection are these little bodycon dresses. So it's basically just a kind of casual tank dress with little ruched detailing on the side. You can stretch this out so it's not ruched or you could tie these up so they are ruched. And this one is also brushed on the inside, so super soft. Okay, so here is the Monarch tank dress in the color Azul. So I also have this in another color, but it's basically just like a ribbed bodycon dress. They also have these little like ties at the side. I left this one side untied and then I kind of tightened this one up a little bit creates a little ruching detail it's pretty lightweight it's also super stretchy I'm wearing a size small and it still like fits me around the waist without being baggy but I had enough like stretch for like hips and boobs so I feel like it's pretty stretchy so if you're in between it's probably sized down and when I don't tie it it goes kind of like mid thigh on me on someone shorter it might be more of like almost like a midi dress like down to the knees the neckline definitely comes in a little bit so I would have to like crisscross my bra straps if I actually wanted to hide those but you can definitely wear a bra under it because it doesn't have anything like weird that you'd have to hide that and yeah it's pretty soft and comfy I don't know how often I wear bodycon dresses and here is like stretchy rib material so it doesn't feel like an activewear dress it does feel like more of like a lifestyle dress there's also a metal logo on the back and here is the same dress in petra gray also a size small Then we have some cropped tees. So these cropped tees are actually a 94% cotton, 6% spandex. So I would say most of the cropped tees that I currently wear don't have any stretch in them. And these are actually like pretty stretchy. So that was unexpected, but also good because I always like stretch. These are a pretty boxy oversized fit. So even in the size small, it like felt pretty big. So just keep that in mind. I wouldn't be sizing up in these because they're already oversized. They just have a raw cut edge and just a little Alphalete logo. So I have these in two colors. Let's try them on. So this is basically just a slightly stretchy t-shirt. It does have some stretch to it with a raw cut edge. So whenever you have a raw cut edge, they tend to kind of like roll a little bit at the bottom. Just has some Alphalete logo in here. And it's pretty cropped in terms of cropped tees. So I'm just wearing a regular bra under this. And when I lift my arms up, you can definitely see some of it. So I personally might wear like a sports bra with this, or this would be something that people like wear over a sports bra to the gym if they just like a cropped tee look. I kind of just like wearing these around the house. Um, I like that it's stretchy. I wish it was like a little bit longer, but I also have a long torso. Another thing about rock cut tees is that if they're a little too long, you can just cut more yourself. So this one, I wish it was just a little bit longer. I also got the tee in brown. It's a pretty neutral brown. Like I wouldn't say it has any cool or warm undertones, pretty neutral and about the same length as last one. So this is also a size small, so nothing new. Then one more shirt. I also got this one in a small, but it is full length. Okay, so this is the Alphalete three quarter sleeves in white halogen blue. Um, I thought it was called the baseball tee, but I think I just made that up because baseball style shirts. So we got a little blue three quarter length sleeves and a little piping around the neck. It's just a crew neck and it's actually a full length shirt, decently long, kind of like scoops around. I am wearing a gray bra underneath this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not just cotton. It does have a little bit of stretch to it, which is nice. This personally isn't like my style of t-shirt. I prefer the cropped tees more just because I tend to wear that a little more often, but at least they're making full length shirts because I know I feel like full length shirts are kind of underdone. And last, but certainly not least, we have another signature performance hoodie in this beautiful sage green color. The shade is called Agave. So I already have two of these hoodies that I bought myself during their last birthday sale. And they tend to keep stock of the hoodies. So I always like try to get some during their sales. And last time I got both a small and a medium and I preferred the fit of the small. So this is also a small. I find them not oversized, but they definitely have enough room that you shouldn't have to size up. My medium just had like a little extra space. So I do just prefer the size small in these, but they're super plush. The hood itself is like really thick. The inside is very soft and brushed. And I like the monochrome like piping silicone detailing on this because it's not like super logo heavy. If you look from afar, you honestly can't even 
see anything. And it is summer, but I know I'll still get use out of this because my school turns up the AC so high that you can't go to class without a sweatshirt. So, all right, so that is it for the review. If you found it helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Leave me any comments and questions down below. I think this video should be up well before the launch, so we shouldn't be crunched for time or anything. I love having extra time to review stuff before the launch because when I only have like a week, your girl is stressed. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.